and uh, I don't know, sometimes I just, I sort of have an attitude, or I'm a little bit tired, or whatever, and it's, so it's just like, I just want to get through the show, I mean, it's not like I hate doing the show or anything, it's just, uh, it's a little easier to focus um, when I'm not trying to do the YouTube cl clips as well, and, and go through the material, and uh, so, yeah, sometimes just for, um, for the sake of being lazy, I uh, <laughs> don't do the YouTube clips. But tonight, I'm going to try and uh, get those YouTube clips up there. I don't know. They'll probably be about at least three or four, um, t between 10 to 15 minute clips for the show. Uh, if you want to go check those out, you go to, um, uh, let's see, my YouTube channel is, uh, well, go to YouTube and then uh, go to the search part and, and it's uh, go to Charles Lamson's webcam video. And uh, there you'll find a bunch of clips. And uh, yeah, it was pretty weird though. I got this thing on my uh, door. All residents be advised. It has been brought to my attention. Some residents here at Fox Hill Apartments are not following their signed lease agreements and or rules and regulations with regards to the following issues. The first of these issues, and perhaps the most severe, is the issue of not respecting your neighbors. It's not expected that all the residents here at Fox Hill will get along with one another all of the time. However, it is expected that you will be respectful to one another. Recently, some very serious incidents occurred involving several of our residents and or their children. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's... that. Okay, so <laughs> I think... Uh, I think I think I'm in the clear. I, I don't have any children, and I haven't really uh, disrespected anybody's children, but... Uh, uh, so, all right, while I won't go into detail about the incidents, I will say that both the police departments and myself are aware of whom the adults and children involved are. Physical, verbal, and even nonverbal harassment will not be tolerated here. Further incidents will result in lease termination and eviction. I, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this, please refer to your signed lease agreement. Yeah, I just love apartment living. It's so, uh, the, the drama just never, never ceases. It's, um, uh, it's like a, it's like a great soap opera. Second issue, also very severe, unauthorized occupants. If you have someone living or even staying for any period of time in your home that is not on the lease, you are in violation of your lease agreement. While we do realize that you will sometimes have guests, it is expected that you follow all guest procedures. This includes bringing your guests to the office to sign them in and providing a copy of their driver's license for identification. We have recently been made aware of many residents with unauthorized occupants, guests staying in their apartments. If you feel this applies to you, it is in your best interest to come to the office and add your guests to the lease. As a reminder, per your signed lease agreement, having an unauthorized occupant is ground for lease termination and eviction. Lastly, man, this is a long letter. I mean, we usually get... I would like to address the issue of general lack of respect for the property. The Fox Hill team, along with Michelson, works very hard to provide a nice place for all of our residents to live. It is expected that you will respect the property. This means that you will not litter. This includes cigarette butts. This also means that you will take your trash to the dumpster, not place it outside your door or in the trash cans at the entrances to the buildings. Uh, right. Many residents and or their guests have been observed speeding through the property. Be aware. Because this is a residential community, that's, the speed limit is 15 miles per hour. All of the aforementioned issues are outlined in your signed lease agreement and or rules and regulations. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact the office. Yada, 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 so on and so forth. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a weird, weird, wild time. Here at Fox Hill Apartments, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just try to, I just try to. I had little problems in the past. This is like uh, I don't know, a year ago, over a year ago. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't. Uh, that was just. Uh, I think uh, actually, me and my upstairs neighbor get along pretty good. But you know, we, we've been living together now. Uh, shoot, I've been here for over eight years. I think he's been here for like fourteen, fifteen years. So 
Uh, yeah. Uh, every now and then we get it under each other's skin, but uh, I don't know what was happening. I too, I I don't really want to know. Uh, so there you go, and there you have it. Like I said, uh, my buddy Tony, uh, he'll be dropping in, um, and uh, I don't know. We might try and do like a two-man show, co-host show. Might actually. Uh, we're gonna be actually making homemade pizza and uh, having some cocktails. We might uh, actually play a song or two. Um, but uh, yeah, we're um, might do a co-host thing. Might do a just a two-man. Uh, show I'm, I'm not quite sure yet well it's a, and I call it an experiment hey don't so uh, all right let's try to finish this stuff up with the esoteric I told uh, tonight show we're gonna be doing I'm closing up all the stuff if you listen to the stuff about the occult and the esoteric orders and all that creepy shit I've been doing the last week or so Just what you Oh, okay, yeah, so I'm closing that up tonight. I think I'm going to try and finish finish that up tonight. I think this is all pretty much just summary of what I was talking about. But then I was going to go into ancient astronauts, man. I don't, I didn't, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, there you go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I told him, yeah, you might want to jump in whenever you want, man. And, uh, uh, yeah, I might just, uh, like, just unplug the headphones and mic and we could just use the internal mic at some point I'm not quite sure maybe we'll do a song maybe not but um, so uh, anyway I was going to close up this stuff with the esoteric orders and um, yeah also I got a uh, I'm going to be putting some YouTube clips up there too so if you want to poke your head in there every now and then be, but uh, alright uh, so um, yeah, I was taught, I think, l last, last night, um, I, when I left off, I was talking about how these occultists are big time believers in, uh, reincarnation, and, uh, and that how a lot of times individuals who conceive of the idea of an, of initiation, they have to ascertain whether consciousness is being awakened for the first time or whether the memory is returning from a past life. Uh, yeah, and then once so once again, these occult orders, these uh, these lodges, um, they they try to stress how important it is that to actually come to them. You you shouldn't you know so so they can give you advice even if you are a returning spirit or whatever. Um, once again, I I don't know. I I'm a, I'm skeptical when anybody says, "Hey, man, you got to come to me for the answers and shit like that." Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of sense to be made too. But it's just like, uh, I don't know. Whenever somebody tells me that you know, you can't go and learn stuff on your own. You got to come to us for the answers. I'm skeptical, Tony. I, I am too. Yeah. So. <laughs> so uh. It may also happen that now these occultists will try to tell you that it may also happen uh, that the previous preparatory life may not have fulfilled its purpose, and the preparation uh, was incomplete. The work has to be done then to uh, catch up with the catch up with your karma. Um, or to get to get caught up in in your occult work. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, um, these people will tell you that there are many souls who have been initiated in the past, but have been led aside into black magic, or failed in a test. And so now they must laboriously climb back back up the ledge of occultism. So. Um, the subtle senses that had been developed in the last life may remain, uh, but the contacts are broken and the memories are obliterated. The master who had been betrayed. Um, yeah, so if you'll remember, uh, I told you in a couple previous shows about 
occultists, when um, they mention the word master, they're not talking about an earthly a bound per a person, a person who's uh, living here on uh, this plane. A master is uh, almost like in Western occultism, anyway. A master is like a a Catholic saint. Um, at one time, they may have been an actual human, but since they have actually passed on into the astral planes or uh, the a higher realm or, or or what have you, and uh, so. Um. Yeah, hey, Tony, too. I I I read the uh, I read that whole note over the air about all the drama that's going on in the apartment complexes. Oh, did you? Yeah. All of a sudden, they seem to care. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like you know, I don't know. These these people, man, are so weird. But anyway, people, what can you do, ladies and gentlemen? I beseech you. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Publish, try and get this clip published here.